morning or let's get into it this tweet i just put out is by an artist called pompey pompey is a zambian gospel artist that's huge on the continent you know he's traveled outside of the continent because of how big he is um i'll call him an international recording artist some of you might say no he's just you know continental but he's actually for me he's international i love his music um there's a number of zambian artists that i've followed over the years in fact african artists you know and i've got some really good friends with and i'm not going to name drop but i'm going to stick to pompey's comment which was artists that own their masters the artists that are coming up do not get lost in those type of tweets and that type of information it's about how you work your masters it's not about owning them owning is only part of it you own your masters when you create something for those of you who are kind of a little bit lost on what a master is master is just a finished version of a song and by finished it does not mean mastered finish it just means a finished song it could be a demo level you could that you could you own a master to that track as so how you make sure that you can <laughs> show people that you own that master is by keeping all the files of which you have made the song on with all the information there you know um you own 100% of the master if you've paid everyone in the room or if you've made it on your own in your own space and you've not sampled anything but if you sample then it gets a little bit messier but for now let's just say you've created something from scratch you own that master you could put that master out yourself and in some cases not many it blows but in most cases it just goes out gets a couple of hundred views maybe a thousand or something and nothing even if you got 20,000 streams on Spotify that's like what $20 if lucky maybe 10 it doesn't add up so if you're not working your master then you're wasting your time so don't get caught up in ownership you're in the music business work your master even if you lose percentages of that master so you own 100% of something even if you were to work and it doesn't work like that in the industry it's actually like 200% but that's a long story let's go back you own 100% of something 100% of 0 is 0 100% of a million is a million but for you to get that million it's hard but if you take that to a label and you were to say settle with 50 50 which is still a really good deal which I doubt they give you. So even if we said 20%, 20% of a mil that's 200k. Catch my drift. You're in the music business. You're not in the music ownership. It's not about owning your intellectual property. It's about working it. It's about building the house and then renting it out. And if you don't understand that, it's impossible to move. So I'm only saying this because there's uh, so many factors that go in that come into play in order for you to reap the rewards of an actual master. You know, there's the registration of the track with royalties associations um with um PPL, I don't know what they would call it, but it's um performance, I guess. In Africa, we haven't really got those those things in place. You know, in Zambia, it's um I think is it Zamcops and they don't really run their business well. Um, that's not me calling them out. They're just pointing out facts. If you could register your track, the chance of the track making you money internationally is next to none. Um, so you could get played on BBC Radio and still not receive any royalties because you're not registered with an actual royalties company. All of this stuff comes into play. But my biggest thing, I guess, what I'm saying is, to big artists out there, is be aware of the tweets that you put out and the content you put out that. is talking about the business because it paints a falsehood of the actual business. So you have more artists that are holding on to things in hope that somehow their lives change, but then they miss the whole concept of actually working that master. And that is the key. Some artists will lose the complete royalty on the master or you know, they might life of copyright. So for this for, for their lifetime plus 70 years, they don't own that master. So meaning that their kids will not eat that, but maybe their grandkids will. But they have a good touring career because the marketing they get from the label is next to like you can't do that on your own push it's understanding your model it's not everyone else's it's yours work your master don't sit on it one love and i hope this helps peace